It is amazing how much damage a parent can do to a child at a very, very young age. She was taken into foster care at four years old and she is such a troubled little girl because the person who's supposed to love her and protect her beyond everything else hurt her severely and it's just amazing how much that is going to affect the rest of her life because her mother didn't take care of her. Jay McCorm's story of becoming a foster parent and how it has influenced her life is just one of the millions of stories of how foster parenting can be beneficial to the child. But what about the foster parents? Their side of the story is hardly ever heard. In 2009, there were over half a million kids in the foster care system here in the United States. These kids range in age from birth to 18 years old. Most are just in the system for a few weeks due to their parents neglecting them. However, many stay within the system until it is time for them to head out on their own. While it isn't usually the child's choice to be placed in the system, just what gets someone interested in becoming a foster parent? I have been interested in foster parenting probably since I was a child myself because my father brought in relative children that were having troubles in their home. So there was always somebody else living in our house other than the three children. Um, but trying to go through school, get married, having my own child, uh, it wasn't anything that I actually pursued until after we um, were not able to have a second child. So we started pursuing different options of expanding our family um, at that point. And we looked into adoption out of the country, adoption locally, um, prayed about it, and felt like that God wanted me to, to help children who were already here rather than bringing any others. The Helen Ross McNabb Center is one of the leading agencies here in Knoxville, and it is understandable why so many people turn to foster parenting. However, it's hard to imagine that so many people take advantage of the system and become negative influences in a child's life. In 2007, USA Today released a study showing that kids placed into the foster care system were three times more likely to get arrested than those that stayed with their parents. Young teens placed were also more likely to become teenage parents, and those that chose to stay with their families were more likely to get jobs than ones that had been placed in foster care. However, there are just as many good foster homes as there are bad. Imagine the relationship the foster parent builds with the child. Imagine how hard it is to see them leave for better or for worse. We've only had three children in our home who have left to go back home. Most of them have left to go on to be adopted. Um, we've had a few that have left to go to a grandparent's home or an aunt's home, so a place that's not involved in. Um, most of the children who've been in our home have been there through drug addiction. Um, so we've had several that have gone on to another family member that was not into the drug addiction. Um, We've had three that have left and gone back home, and all three of them went back into homes where the drug addiction was still a problem. While it's a sad reality, most children in foster care spend two to three stints in the system. Luckily, there is the chance they can be placed back in with the same family as they were with before. Yeah, if the foster parent's still there, uh, and especially if there's anybody involved that knows that link, they're supposed to check their records and say this child was in this home before. Would that home be available to them now? Because it's not as hard on the children if there's something that they're comfortable with. And when she first came to our home, um, she said she remembered, but it, we weren't really sure she did. But when we walked in the home and she saw our dog, she remembered the dog. And kids at a certain age, they remember smells and visual things and, and so they're really big on animals but she remembered the dog and then she remembered the house and then as we went through looking at pictures then she remembered a lot of things that happened in her home before even though she was just over two when she left mm -hmm. 